What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about two Osprey trusts today, Osol and Odot. Those are the ones that we're talking about. Uh, yeah, getting its own video. I actually meant to throw this in the Grayscale Trust video, but I forgot, man. I have them written separately here on my, on my notebook, so that's my fault, but whatever. Getting your own video, segmenting them out, that's okay. Low to high, found resistance at your 2618. Really constructive behavior. It's actually very, very constructive behavior. Uh, you probably do come down. Seeing the 2618, the golden ratio being hit, it really wouldn't be crazy if you move back to your 1886, even back to your 1618. Going from the 2618 back to the 1618, it's it's normal. It happens. But also, finding support at the 1886 from here is pretty normal too. You could find support at the 2272 and continue higher, but I think Solana is going to go lower. I do think Solana could potentially break $100 on its low price. And if it's going to do that, I, I would doubt this trust would hold these high prices. So really, I'm looking at about $101 to $69 for Osol. That to me makes sense. Um, lower, nonetheless, is what I'm thinking. Daily RSI looks like ass. Probably going to go lower. Probably. And that's okay. Um, let's see real quick what we're doing. Yeah, 74 bucks right down there, right? Is that is that the 1886? No, it's the 1618. So yeah, probably you're probably gonna work your way down to about 69 bucks, 75 bucks, inevitably over the weeks to come. Yeah, weeks, months, whatever. Um, o dot, o osprey polka dot. I don't know anything about these osprey trusts, man. I'm gonna look more into the company. See what their premiums are. Maybe they've got better premiums than Grayscale, you guys. Like I, I don't. Maybe they're maybe they're worse. Maybe they don't have. I, I really don't know anything about it. But um, lower liquidity than the Grayscale trusts, which are already lower liquidity than the, the native assets. That's why you get these intense, immense uh, premiums to begin with. So this this it, it could be good. It might be worth checking out um, if you're looking for other trusts or stocks to get involved with as far as crypto goes high to low or low to high here below your 382 next target 917 to 785 dot what do you look like what are you looking like dotty i think dot i remember actually yeah it wants to go lower that's not a good look yeah yeah dot will probably go back down to around 520 maybe even all the way down to four dollars in which case o dot yeah, seeing price back back around like nine dollars wouldn't be crazy. If we put, you know, this is what I want to do actually. Right at your six one eight there. Delete the fib. We'll put we'll put it at the point five too. Okay, because you could find support there. It is possible. Six one eight. Right here at this previous area of resistance, most local area of resistance right here, uh, 0.5 at the overall area of resistance on this on this accumulation phase. So 11.80 to nine dollars, somewhere around there is probably where you're going to go. You're at 13.64 now, so lower either way. Looking at the weekly, I definitely think you have lower to go. Daily RSI, you could be getting to the end of the move, which really does put the uh, the potential to find a low around 11.81 there, you know, and maybe it goes to 11 dollars or 10.80, you know, something like that. Maybe it goes probably more likely it doesn't hit either of these lines; it goes through them, you know, or, or in between them. Um, but with how close to the oversold zone you are, it makes me think that you are near the end of this move potentially. But I say that and look at over here, right? You got oversold here. You were not anywhere near the end of your down move, so I, I think we're in different times. Though I wouldn't really, I, it might be worth comparing, but I don't know if it is. You know, if you look at this, you didn't even get overbought here. You overbought, hanging below the 50 most of your time, hanging above the 50. I think it's different circumstances, so you can you can expect different results probably. When I say it's going down here in this zone, that doesn't mean it's going to be a straight shot down. It absolutely could go up, go down, go up go down, go down, go up, go down, you know, like who, who knows how it's going to look. Um, very low liquidity, but this does look like a consolidation phase right here. Looks like you've broken out, so you're probably just getting started. I mean, you've, you've got more to go, definitely. Yeah. 1180 to $9, somewhere in that range. That's all I got to say. So if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.